talk about uh, Musa and and basically learning the season that she is more than her powers that she can. You know, especially cool. It was cool at the end when she was able to to put the clamps on and really just focus on being herself without yeah. her powers. That became that became a storyline I wasn't is, expecting. You know, yeah. a, a, a fairy who who's like, yeah, I, I I'm okay without my powers. I I want to yeah. be me. Yeah, I think I think it's it's uh, both really helpful for her to to have this tough love with with Riven who brings her into the fighting and because she isn't able to help the the girls in in the suite so i think she feels a bit hopeless and doesn't really know what to do she's having an identity crisis but i i i worry for her now because i'm like you've you've restricted what you really are mm. so i'm hoping that you know more comes next season if there is one um where she I know, fingers crossed, where um, she can find happiness in her magic because mm. uh, that's who she really is, mm. you know? She's she's kind of putting a facade on at the moment. Yeah, were you surprised that uh, the revelation that we found out this season that she she gave up uh, to the, cre to the uh, mm. scrapers? Like, she gave up to that. Yeah, I, I spoke to the writer, Brian, about this because I believe, and I, I don't know if this is... 100% true but um, in the animation Musa's mum actually gives up her powers um, and sacrifices herself so I think it's what she tried to do um, because mm. it it's what her mum did so why not go and do the same it helped in some way um, but yeah it's it's not the it's not the um, the most happy of of uh, changes for Musa to go through I don't think um, no, and it kind um, of put ways on on all of the girls in the end because they're like we need to help Musa get back to her herself. Mm. Mm. Yeah, although I think fighting is part of her. I think fighting is mm. part of her too. You know, Paulina, right. um, your character uh, Flora gave over a little bit as well. Like she she she, she injected herself with the serum and mm. she took on the weight of the scrapers, which allowed everybody else to do their thing. Can you talk about her making that decision um, and? Essentially, like she doesn't know how it's going to turn out in the end. So yeah, she she's definitely an empath, and she really just wants to help people. And even though sometimes it doesn't always go right, she really has all good intentions at heart. And she's she's very much a people person, um, and she gives sometimes really good advice. Some advice that I need to take myself. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And and so seeing that it just shows because even. Even though she did it, like she was still very, she's scared. She was scared, yeah. um, even yeah. though she didn't show it. And I hope in the next season she kind of shows more vulnerability um, and know that it's okay not to be okay. Hmm. I thought that was an interesting scene that they ended on for you with her looking at her um, scars mm -hmm. in the mirror. And can you talk about maybe what she was thinking about during those moments? <sighs> I truly believe she's a person that shoves everything down. No matter what mm -hmm. she's feeling, like she's not gonna let anybody in. She's not gonna let anybody know. Um, she has a wall up. Even though she's very open to fall in love, to have fun, she will not let her emotions really see the light of day. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that's one of her breaking points. You know, you mm -hmm. even with like life, you know, some people hold everything in until they finally explode, and maybe that was that was her way of, oh man, I need to figure this out. 